the way. We're going to have to hold that thought because we are into the match. Phase starting off on the CT side of Mirage and Luminosity on the T side. And looks like Luminosity want to take all of the footfall towards that B bomb site. Just being held by Kremen. He will get shot in a vice. Block won't kill him from that range. Showtime's being picked off though. Carrigan's still around this short pillar, trying to reposition. He's got his reload in already. His teammate's still alive, but Carrigan will be the first one to drop. Four and four now. Finally, Kromen is dispatched of. Guardian holding an angle, making sure no one makes their way over towards the bench. Very tentative retake attempt here. Rain clearing out the apartments. So one more player to go there as he does try to check both angles. Unsure where the next player will be hiding. Guardian will be trying to create some space there with a frag on to Yell as he makes his way forwards now into the 2v2. And still quite a lot of time here for FaZe to find a defuse. Now it's just down to PKL. Into the 1v1 he'll go as he takes down Guardian. The next engagement foul, but Nico confidently steps out into the frag. Beautifully done by FaZe. They're up against three Deagles and two Glocks. So we would like to see a disciplined team used range to their advantage, as Nico does, kicking things off well. He will uh, have a look towards the connector position. But other than that, we see Rain playing around triple, so towards the back of A. Guardian having a look-see. Everybody but Guardian on a helmet, so Guardian has to be careful. Although, he'll either get headshot and live from a Glock, or get headshot and die from a Deagle. Taking it real slow. Nico will have a poke, have a prod. He'll peruse a gander through middle. And he will find one. Looks like things will be going pretty well here for FaZe. According to plan, more or less, Nico perhaps lacking a bit of patience there. Thinks it's safe, but it's not, but it will be once again. Now as the rest of the frags are cleaned up by FaZe. 2-0 for them. And a good amount of information so far. You can see Nico will get that flash from Guardian. Good enough for the peak onto Steel in middle. And that's going to trigger the push here for Luminosity. They have to go now. But another one from atop the smoke from Rain. And that will really stifle the effort of Luminosity as they continue to make their way forward. And Nico in pure Nico fashion will finish off the round. Beautiful 4K from him. Continues to play out. But again, it's a very stable beginning for the FaZe clan. Three, four, five, six, seven kills so far for Luminosity, some of which would have come in a pistol of course, so... Play business as usual in their regular positions around that, so... I do like how they're handling this uh, so far, as we see Kromen actually playing a short peek there. And they'll clean up the pistols fairly simple, uh, simply, simply, there we go, that's a word. Nico continuing the tapping action. Nico's looking sharp so far, James. WP no Kevlar for... Yell, which he's not shy to do, but seems he might have re more respect than that for FaZe. And it, here is the charge that maybe Luminosity were looking for in a previous round. There are flashbangs here, and it's two for Nico again, looking for the taps onto Yell, and of course he delivers, and that's the bomb spotted. But they've got a decent amount of utility to back up their weapons, but a fast round here from Luminosity, the pal flash tossed into connector. Now down to Guardian, but he'll get smoked away. It's Kroman delivering death and destruction from that short position that will level the playing field as Guardian gets himself into action. There's a connection and he's going to find the bomb as well. Standing on the bomb, you are picked off in CT spawn. That leaves PKL alone. No kills in this round. Have they identified where he is? Doesn't seem so. Jumping in the window now. You can see, I think Kroman was on the... Uh, no, it wasn't him, sorry. All right, so he's in CT spawn. He's got over a minute on the clock. Now, what, what, do, what positions do FaZe consider potentially compromised? Is Jungle one of these positions? Carrigan moving to check CT spawn at the moment. Does Guardian have the angle? No, he's in connector. Carrigan probably won't expect this jungle position, but where is Kremen looking? He has a diagonal look across the site, front of A, into jungle. How it's going to turn out for them, this could get really bad. Spotted the numbers moving into the B bomb site. Molotov will delay some and will allow the rotation to be closer. Doesn't end well for Carrigan though, just one kill in this situation and now Luminosity could really capitalise, can they pick up some more rifles? Rain pushing through the window, but he's very heavily tagged, might need his teammates to do the work for him. Nico making it slightly easier, even more so. Nico good for the 3k, that could have been a disaster for FaZe. 
The bomb was planted for Luminosity, which is a bonus, as is the two kills they got on the B-bomb site. Great opportunities here, and yell that timing from the pop flash from a teammate there, from Chroman, presumably, indeed, on the B-bomb site for Karagrin's peak was absolutely perfect. Nekis, though, does find a kill into middle. Aggression here from FaZe. Karagrin knows he's time, uh, picked leg to show time, sorry. Trying to finish him off with the nade doesn't work, but there is the bomb. ...of what might happen in a second, but Luminosity need more than one round, that is for sure. Didn't bode so well for G2 in a previous match. Carrigan with an easy first shot and uh, not being blind, he knows that no one else is there. But as he pulled rotation, it won't matter because it's Rain's turn to clean up M4A4s all day here on phase. We've got the bullets for the action. Steel will look to catch somebody restlessly out of position, perhaps, to get something out of this round. Yeah, it's so far looking really nice. Those frags from Rain were very satisfying. Just sort of how he... He hops that he can be notorious for, though. So no early peek onto ramp. He will hold close to the smoke. He's going all the way. And he will not last very long at all. And maybe this round won't tie that. This is record time almost. Yeah, <laughs> definitely not looking too hot right now for Luminosity. Every single attempt so far being just crushed. And again, if you just look at the anticipation from FaZe, whether it was a read or not, they... Four Deagles and a CZ-75. Steel has two flashes and a smoke. Where do you put the smoke in this position? Do you put it in one of the arches towards short? Do you put it towards the windows to stop getting picked off in the cross? Or do you put it deeper towards short? I don't know. Maybe the window. But uh, they know a player is near the balcony. Do their best to catch him. But now that's the bomb lost. Three, ver three versus five in this uh, this pistol round for Luminosity. This is looking pretty rough at the moment. Yeah, you can see that FaZe read that play. Oh, that's a very fortunate second kill from Rain. But I think FaZe read the play to be a, a, a effectively sort of a B rush that sort of failed. So need expecting a... Ooh, nice. Expecting a later push, perhaps. Looking to take them by surprise. Surprise! <laughs> Look at this, they're pushing. They've got two guys in mid with AWPs. Rain pushing Palace. And it's just Chroman to sit in B while the rest of the team rack up the stats. That's beautiful there from Rain. Again, if you if you look at the form, uh, formation of phase, they have this really big mid presence, and then Rain takes the the, the spawn that he has, which was f uh, forward, I believe, into a deep position on the apartments, which is really strong. If there's no no like lurker there, it's pretty telling what the T's are doing. And now Rain's taking this crazy off angle there. You just don't expect the player to be there, and it makes the situation even worse. Not only does he get a kill, there's critical damage, clean snap from Guardian for the follow up. Despite the return, Yell really has a lot to do. It's a lot going on here for FaZe. Three players remaining. And I mean, there's just nowhere to turn from that perspective if you're Luminosity. Luminosity looking a little bit dejected so far. Deflated, going for a fast Ooh. play to try to make good of this situation. Explosiveness to break the stagnancy. But it looks like that stagnancy is only going to be getting worse here as Guardian and Chroman and Rain all getting on the defense. Fast pace doesn't work. The slow pace doesn't work. They, they try to get the picks, and I think they're one of those teams who, against stronger opposition, maybe they show too much respect. But uh, either way, whether they're at stand or not, they are being absolutely dominated at the moment. Some people pay for this kind of action, Dan. <laughs> yeah, it's true. It's true. And Luminosity might be paying for it as well, because it's going to put them in a pretty desperate position in the groups. Phase, maybe it'll be... It's a nice little calm. Oh, that's a nice grenade. Meaty damage. Smoke seems to dissipate. Verbal replenish. There is the bomb. There's all the information. Although, Aragon still holding for B. Starting to rotate now, but not required. 14 to 1. Not much to say for Luminosity. Phase tearing out all the pages. Rain with the late flank. And Yell is looking for it. And he's found it. Ooh, a double flank. Kremen there as well. All right, then. Four players coming in from A. 
from a CTA. Now, how will this be identified? With frags, it seems. Guardian with P50, that extra range coming in. Very handy indeed. Three versus two, all of a sudden. Three versus one, and done. 15 to one match point for FaZe. Kill that plays a part on this map. If we got a couple trades different earlier on, it could have been a very different game. Let's just sort of move on here. CZs are doing some damage so far, but nothing Nico can't handle. Picks off Nick is around a connected position, but his range is not ideal with this weapon for the short area, as well as because he knows these players are on a force bite. He'll capitalizing for getting traded. Guardian still alive with 20 HP. Now PKO and Steel remain range spotted with one of them. UMP spray dragging the mouse down, leaving PKL on the wrong side of the map. Two players in the middle area. So what can he really look to get out of this? You have to assume the MAC-10 is in mid rather than the AK that was picked off earlier on. And that's that.